What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. So I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can take really good pictures when you're using the Samsung Galaxy S9. Alright, so I've got some tools that we're going to be using, uh, but I want to get into some things that you shouldn't be doing before I start talking about the things that you need to be doing. So anyways, anytime that you're trying to, you know, get a good shot, you absolutely, absolutely do not want to use the zoom feature. Now anytime you try to zoom in on something you're trying to take a picture of, it always makes it look you know, grainy as hell. My recommendation is, uh, you know, try to move closer to whatever you're trying to get a picture of instead of, you know, doing this and trying to zoom in. It really just diminishes, you know, the quality. So don't do that. Another thing that you absolutely should not do is use the auto lighting feature on here. Anytime that you try to manufacture light, uh, it always just kind of makes things look really crappy. So, you know, uh, try to get natural sunlight as much as possible. Try to stay away from the lighting feature and uh, you'll pretty much be good. So if you do those two things, let's just recap there. Move closer, whatever you're trying to get a picture of. Stop being lazy and, uh, you know, try to get natural sunlight. Don't use the lighting feature. It just makes pictures look terrible. Okay, anyways, let's get into it over here. Now, I've got three different phone lenses right here. Now, these definitely make a big difference in, uh, you know, picture quality. They give you the ability to take wide angle shots, but you also capture much more detail. And, uh, you know, they're awesome. So I've got three right here. I've gone through about 20 to 20, 25 of these over, you know, the last couple of years. And I found these to be the best of the best. I'll have links in the description if you do want to check them out. But I do want to say that the nice thing about them is they're universal with other phones. So they're good, like, camera investments. Uh, that'll probably be good for many years to come because I don't see the back of, uh, you know, phone cameras changing anytime soon. Now, anyways, I'm going to load up some pictures I've taken with them. Uh, and then I want to, you know, throw a couple of them on so you can kind of see how they look. But uh, they fit really good on the uh, S9 and uh, S9 Plus. Anyways, here's a couple right here. So I took a picture. Uh, this is my girl cat right here. She's Roxy. Um, you know, this is a nice uh, portrait photo I took. I had a lens on right here. Uh, this is another one. This is a wide angle shot. So we've got a landscape shot. You can kind of see how, you know, when I took the picture, it's, it got more of the picture in there. And, uh, you know, these are just some awesome in the house photos I took. So you can kind of see, you know, I got the cat shots in here and everything. All right, so there's just, are just a few. Got a couple more right here. These are a little blurred, but um, you can see I got a little bit of the camera. I didn't put it on uh, the lens. I didn't put it on correctly there. Then I had another, uh, you know, portrait of my cat right here, Garfield. Of course, I've got a Garfield orange cat, you know, uh, pretty cliche, not very original. Anyways, I'm going to get into these lenses now. I'm going to kick things off here with the Aki. This is an amazing lens. So, um, you know, I've owned this for definitely over a year to a year and a half. Um, it's got a really nice aluminum alloy build on it, as you can see. I mean, this is just a really sharp looking lens. Another thing about this is it's got a coating on the front glass. It'll, you know, protect against fingerprint smudges and scratches, which is really nice. And then all of these have this clip on feature. So let me just show you how these clip on the back. Um, you know, you got a perfect fit right here. Uh, you know, I love doing the little shake test anytime I put one of these on to show you that they will still stay on really good, so you don't have to worry about that. They also all fit with cases, so it doesn't matter what case you're using, they're all going to work. And, uh, you know, even without a case, if you're going naked right now, you know, even with this glass backing on here, these things stay on very firmly. So that's the Aki Aura. Now, I do want to pull up the listings for these on Amazon so you can kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, what they run and uh, just kind of like review wise. All right, so anyways, the Aki lens, um, this one's got about 316 reviews on it. Sells for about 30 bucks, which is, I think, a good price because anytime that you're looking to buy a lens for like a, like a real, um, you know, camera, like a Nikon or Canon, you know, lenses are really expensive. So these are all going to run around $30 or less. But anyways, this is the Aki. Um, the next one I want to get into is definitely one of my favorites. It's the Amir. Uh, the Amir is definitely like my top second choice. I've just loved this lens. Um, you know, it's one that I've, you know, used for, you know, definitely like the last year or so. It's got a decent amount of reviews on it, 500 or 358, four out of five stars. Uh, sells for about, you know, 30 bucks around that range. And it's also got an aluminum alloy build to it that is just, you know, super nice. It's got an easy to use clip on feature right here. This one also has a really nice fit on, uh, on this phone for sure. So let me just kind of get it on. Do a little shake test, like I said. Um, and you know what I'm saying? This is just a really, really nice lens. Uh, you know, it's got the coating on the front glass. 
that will protect against fingerprint sm smudges and whatnot. And uh, you know, it's a beauty. Now the last one I'm gonna show everybody here is the BC Master. So this one's nice too. Uh, the reason that I like this one a lot is because it's got you know, a really good price point on it. I think it's under like 20 bucks or somewhere around there. Let me just pull it up. And it's it's kind of similar, I would say, to these uh, these other ones. But, um, you know, the price point is a little bit less. Okay, so it's like 20 bucks. So, and I mean, it only sells for 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And, you know, it's got a nice little clamp on. Oh, that's very nice, right? Very cool stuff. Um, very, very cool. Okay, anyways, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I think the tips I'm giving you right now, uh, these, these lenses do definitely make a big difference. I feel like, you know, in overall picture quality, just because they capture much more detail, you know, they give you that wide angle shot. Um, and, uh, you know, the, they also all have zoom capability of up to 15 times. So, you know, they're just really awesome camera accessories. Now, you got to remember, stay away from those uh, two things I mentioned, you know, don't use the uh, zoom feature, it always makes pictures look grainy, and then of course try to get natural sunlight, you know, anytime you go for the natural, just makes things look so much better, I cannot tell you. So I'll have links in the description for these if you want to check them out on Amazon. I'm also going to add a couple bonus lenses in the mix down there too, you know, that'll, that are really nice as well. Like I said, I've gone through close to 20 to 25 lenses, so I mean there's so many. I, I, don't, I didn't really want to show more than three. And these are really good ones. So uh, if you could also hit the like and share button on this video, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to us, hit that subscribe and 